Hi, this is Dr. Frederick. Uh, we have a um, chi-square with two rows and three columns. And so the question is, how do you compute chi-square for this? And so here we have a situation in which we made some flyers. The flyers either had uh, an anti-litter uh, anti message on it or there was no message uh, about littering on the flyer. We gave the flyers out in a mall, and then we uh, looked around on the floor, we looked in the trash cans, and uh, decided uh, that we, of, of the 70 um, flyers with no message, we found 50 in the trash can, 50 in the litter, and 40 were not found. Um, 24 of the anti-litter messages were in the trash can. 42 were actually litter, and 64 were gone. And so we're going to, uh, th these are our observed data, and the question for um, chi-square is, if we didn't know what these values were, how would we f decide what they ought to be based on what? based on the marginal totals. So we have these uh, totals in the margins. These are our column totals and these are our row totals. And the expected value is the row total times the column total divided by the, the n. n is 200. Okay. So here we take uh, the row total, I'm sorry, the column total multiplied by the row total column times row for what? This cell. This cell, 1, 1, is column 1, row 1. So we take the total for column 1, multiply it by the row total for row 1, divide by 200. So we do that for each one. Here it's 39 times 70 divided by 200. Here it's 57 times 70 divided by 200. And here are the values down here. We end up with these expected values. If these are the marginal totals, these are what we expect the cell totals to be if there's no relationship, or, or based on the relationship, I'm sorry, just, just based on the relationship that we have that exists. Okay, so we want to compute chi-square knowing these two values. We'll put our values back in here, our observed values. And we're going to start to compute the chi-square. We're going to get six values called um, the result of taking the observed value here 15 subtracting the expected value and we're going to square that value here's what I did here observe minus expected times observed minus expected that's squaring it once we get that squared value we're going to divide by the expected value b11 okay so it's 15 minus 13.65, square that, divide by 13.65, we get this first value. Now we're going to do that six times. We're going to add up, we're going to sum all of those values. We're going to get our chi-square. Our chi-square is 2.64. And we see that uh, when we look at uh, endless numbers, when there's no relationship between what's on the the flyer and what happens to it. The most extreme value of chi-square 95% of the time is 5.99. Our chi-square does not exceed 5.99 so it's just the same. It's a chi-square value we would expect to see if there were no relationship. Once again, the tabled value or the critical value of chi-square 5.99 is taken from a situation where we have data that we know there's no relationship between the message and the outcome and we compute that the most extreme value 95 percent of the time alpha equals 0.05 is 5.99 so if our our value of chi-square does not exceed that then our test is not significant and we do not reject the null hypothesis so we, we, we have to say there's no relationship. Now, what's the effect of 
having a message on the flyer. So that's a different question. What's the effect of having a message on the flyer? Is there some effect? Maybe. And, and, and the way we do that is to compute a Kramer's fee, which is simply chi-square divided by n. Our chi-square is small, 2.64 divided by n, 200. That's this value. Then we'll take the square root of that. That'll give us our, our Kramer's fee. And that's a small value, 0.11. Actually, yeah, I think that's right. I uh, didn't check the book, but that's probably a small value. Uh, check your book to see what the value ranges are. And uh, so you say, look, it just doesn't matter what you put on the flyer. People are going to do with flyers what they normally do. Okay, I hope that's helpful. If not, uh, I'll take questions from you.